With increasing traffic congestion and persisting safety issues, Palo Alto is looking to redesign four of its Caltrain railroad crossings. At the city's four at-grade crossings, the train tracks and the road traffic intersect at the same level of elevation. Cars have to stop every time a train passes, and accidents between the train and vehicles or pedestrians are more likely to happen than at so-called great separated crossings, where the tracks are separated from the road. The city and residents agree that something needs to change. And you will often see, um, because somebody's in a hurry or they're unfamiliar with the intersection, because the car in front of them pulls forward, they pull behind it and they end up stopping on the tracks. It's precarious. This person's in the middle of the intersection, this person went across right when it came down, he's sitting here. There's not enough space for all the bikes. This person just tried to get around the person who was trying to do a right, almost hit somebody. We would just watch two, three dangerous situations while we've been standing here for the last minute. So yeah, it, it, something needs to be done. In the last two years, six vehicle strikes occurred at Palo Alto's at-grade crossings. One of them ended fatally. During daily peak hours, up to 25 vehicles back up behind one side of each crossing. With trains running more frequently during the next years, traffic congestion is expected to more than triple. Because the train runs um, along the spine of the city, the entire length of the city, it really forms a, a, a barrier to go across the city east-west during daytime. So I live in Old Palo Alto and sometimes it's easier for me to get to Sunnyvale as long as I don't pass the, the train tracks than it might be for me to just get to Menlo Park. While the community agrees that the crossings have to be redesigned, there are different options on how to revamp them. The city will host four roundtables this month to discuss different possibilities for each crossing. Those include raising the train over the road, lowering the train under the road in a trench or a tunnel, raising the road over the train, lowering the road under the train, and closing a crossing entirely. At the moment, the trench is the community's most widely supported option for the two crossings at Charleston Road and Meadow Drive. I think the best thing they can do is to have Caltrain and any other train run in a cutout and have uh, bridges over the cutout. Um, I think that would smooth uh, tra traffic over. The city hopes to decide on a redesign by next summer, but it might take a decade or more until the construction is finished. Another unknown factor is funding. The redesigns can cost between $1 million and $1.15 billion. Besides Measure B tax money, which will be available over the next 30 years, funds will most likely come from a mix of federal, state and local sources. We have to think about it's not just Palo Alto's four grade separations, there are 42 grade separations that need to be done. So we're hoping there's going to be a lot more regional political leadership to help look at how to reduce those costs because it's not just about our city, it's about all the cities, and frankly, it's about the whole region. The region needs Caltrain to run well, and if we don't fix the grade separations, it will create traffic issues. We'll have good public transit, but terrible traffic. This is Charlotte Koch for the Peninsula Press, a project of Stanford Journalism.